Hi everybody. So today I'm going to show you to make Vanellope von Sweets from the movie Wreck-It Ralph. She was requested from me months ago and I didn't think it would be possible. So I do hope that you like her. And um, this is what she's going to look like. So she's quite sturdy. In today's video I am showing you how to create the shoes, both legs. One is a right leg and the left leg, the body and the two arms. And these are the supplies you're going to need to complete her. So we've got our black, teal, white, red skin color, the lightest one from your skin tone package, purple, two seven millimeter black pony beads for her eyes. You can use bands if you'd like, and about 26 four millimeter pony beads. If you don't have the pony beads, use the bands, different colors, wrap them around your hook four times, and just the same as I would do with the pony beads. So I do hope you enjoy and let's get started. Round one of the arms, I'm going to start off with the skin color and I'm going to do seven single crochets in the magic ring. So I'm using eight bands total. Our first band, we're going to wrap this around the bottom part of our loom to do our magic circle and we're going to start off with three loops. So one, two, and three. Now with your hook, you're going to bring seven bands through one at a time. So reach in, bring your first band through on your hook and bring your top loop over the bottom and bring it to the side. Go back in for your second, bring through, put the end on your loop, on your hook and bring your two top loops over and bring it to the side. You want to just repeat by going back in bringing your next band through on your hook and bring your two top loops over and you're just going to repeat. Remove, you, know, you want to attach your stitch marker, sorry, to the loop that's around your hook, and then you can remove off the loom. Now move your bands around, and you should have seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven is on your hook. Round two of the arm, I'm going to do seven single crochets, but only grabbing the back loops only. So I'm adding one band to each of the back loops all the way around. At the end of this round, you should still have seven stitches. So instead of going through your chain, you want to just grab the loop that's at the back. So farther, furthest away from your circle here. And you're going to bring your first band through all of the loops to do a slip stitch because we're changing color. So I'm in the back loop, I went through all of my loops, and I'm just going to slide. You're going to continue going around, so just grabbing the back loop, through your hook, and slide. Back loop, all the way around until you get to the stitch marker. loop, so you should still have seven stitches. You can remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. Now round three four, five, six, seven, and eight. You're adding one band to each chain around. I'm going to do round three with you and you're going to pause the video to complete the rounds and then come back to me when you're done. Your last band, you're going to do a slip knot to tie it closed, which I am going to show you because I've already gone ahead and then we're going to add two sewing bands. So I'm going to put this down for a second and I'm going to do round three. So you want to go in your first chain, not your little slip knot that you see here, your first chain, 
and you're just adding one band to each chain around. At the end of each round, you should have seven stitches. So in each one of my piles, I have seven bands. So let's go in our first chain and add one band, bring it through on your hook and slide. The next chain with one. And continue going around. And then you want to remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. And then you just continue. But when you get to the last band, you're going to go in. One second. When you get to the last one, you're going to bring your band through all the loops to tie it off. And then you're going to remove your stitch marker and you're going to add two sewing bands. So just as I did here, bring your slip knot to the side here and you're not going to go through the two stitches that are beside your slip knot. You're going to go through the center two chains on either side and bring your band through, do a slip knot and at the end you're going to go through two of the chains and make it even with this band at the side here. And bring your band through and slide. So this is what you should have when you're done. Please pause the video and come back to me. Round one of the foot, I'm gonna show you how to do one and then you're gonna make yourself another like this. Now if you have an extra hook you might want to just grab that now so you can have this so you can put this to the side because you're going to need two like this. Both of her legs are different. So after we have two of these, then I'm going to do a right and left leg. If not, if you don't have an extra hook, you can leave it like that and put to the side. We're going to start off with the bottom part doing a magic ring of five stitches. So let's take our first band, and I'm using red. I'm going to wrap it around the bottom peg three times. One, two, and three. And you're going to bring your five bands through one at a time. Attach your stitch marker to the band that's around your hook and remove off the loom. Move your bands around and you should have five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five is around your hook. For round two, we're going to add two bands to each chain around. So two, 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 and you're adding them one at a time. At the end of round two, you'll have ten stitches. So let's go in our first chain. We're going to add two bands, one at a time. Bring through on your hook and slide. Go back in that same chain to add your second band. Now onto the next chain with two bands. Repeat until you get to the stitch marker. I'm going to go back in that same chain. The next chain with two. Back in. And the last one. So you should have 10 stitches, remove your stitch marker, and add it to the band that's around your hook. 
For round three, we're going to add one band in the first three chains. One, one, one. Then in the next five chains, you're adding two bands. Then your last two chains, one and two, you're adding one band. At the end of round three, you're going to have 15 stitches. So let's start off with three single crochets, five increases, and then ending with two single crochets. So in the first three chains, add one. Now five increases. Adding two bands. Back in. In. And I'm at my last two chains. I'm going to add one band to each. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band around your hook. Again, you should have 15 stitches. For round four, we're going to change to black and I'm going to grab the inside loops only and do 15 single crochets around. So just the insides, the loop, one little loop facing the center. I'm changing the color, so I am going to start off with a slip stitch. So let's grab our first inside loop only. You're gonna bring your band through all of the loops, grab the end and slide. Now just go around, so you're using 15 bands. Inside loop, inside all the way until you get to the stitch marker should still have 15 stitches, remove your stitch marker and add it to the band around your hook. Round five, we're gonna do 15 single crochets and at the end, you should still have 15 stitches. Using black, I'm gonna go in my first chain, not my slip knot, and bring my band through my chain, my first band on my hook and slide. Moving on to the next chain with one. So just keep going through the chain.
And then the last one. So you should have 15 stitches still. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band around your hook. For round six, we're gonna do 15 single crochets, but this time we're doing a reverse stitch. So we're gonna work backwards on this round. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go from the outside towards the inside. Now I'm not starting where the band is being pulled. So you normally you would go this way. This time we're gonna go this way. So not starting where it's being pulled, I'm gonna go through the first, from the outside towards the inside, and bring a band through. This is the only awkward round. Inside, so on my next chain, through, and you're going to repeat this all the way to the end, the next the next the next You'll see this is my second last chain. I'm going to bring my band through. Now I'm at the chain where my stitch marker is. You'll notice that you have this band going across to separate from here to there. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go through the little loop, the little chain here that's beside the stitch marker. You'll notice it's the same band, but it will if I bounce over here, it will leave like a little gap there. So I'm going to go right beside this little stitch right here and bring my band through. And you can move your stitch marker, add it to the band that's around your hook, and you can put it flat, and we're going to go back around. Now for round seven, we're going to do three single crochets, so one band in the first three chains. Then we're going to do five decreases. I'm going to do the invisible decrease method, so I'm going to add an extra band. So that's where we're stitching two stitches together, and I'll do that one slowly. Then you're going to do two single crochets. At the end of round seven, you're going to have ten stitches. So now we're going to go back around. We're not going reverse, so I'm going to go from the inside out. You're going to start at your first stitch, not where it's getting pulled. So go through your stitch from the center out, and you're bringing one band through. Go into your next stitch with one. So this is your second chain. You're adding one band. And now your third chain with one. Now I'm going to start off with my invisible decrease. So my next two chains, instead of stitching together, I'm going to do a slip stitch and leave it on my hook. So I'm going to go in my first chain, bring one band through on my hook, and you want to just slide that single band. So now I have two loops and leave it on your hook. Go into your next chain with your next band do a slip stitch and leave it on your hook. You have three little loops. Now slide. To repeat your next chain, your invisible decrease, bring your band through on your hook and slide and leave it. The next chain, 
repeat one band through on your hook and just slide that single band three loops and slide we're going to do three more invisible decreases Last invisible decrease. So now you have three, two chains left. You'll have one here, and then you'll have one all the way over here. So that's what we'll be grabbing where the stitch marker is. So let's go on our second last chain to add one band. And where your stitch marker is. So you should have 10 stitches. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. And you want to pause the video to make yourself another. Now I'm going to start off with her left leg. This is our right, her left. Instead of the black, I think I'm going to be using the purple. It's up to you what color that you'd like to use there. But just, we're going to be making this side first. So I'm going to start off with white, and I'm going to do 10 single crochets around, so adding one band to each chain. I am going to start off with a slip stitch first, and then after that we're going to add a little bit of stuffing. So let's go on our first chain, not where it's getting pulled. And I'm going to bring my white band through all of the loops that are on my hook, and slide. Continue going around one band in each chain. So you should have 10 stitches, remove that stitch marker, add it to the band around your hook and you want to just move your band up a little bit and add some stuffing. Don't add too much, we just need a bit of the form of her foot. So you don't want it out like this, this is the bottom, so I just added a little bit. We're going to be adding some more after. For round two of her left leg, we're going to do start off with four single crochets, one band in the first four chains, and then we're going to do an invisible decrease, so I'm adding an extra band. Then four single crochets. At the end of round two, you have nine stitches. I am changing to the teal color. So let's go on our first chain, not your slip stitch, your slip knot here. Changing color, so I'm going to start off with a slip stitch. And slide. Chain two with one. Chain three. Chain four. I'm going to stitch these two together, doing an invisible decrease. So bring your band through, do a slip stitch, leave it on your hook, and go into the next chain. three loops, and slide. So you should have four chains left. One, two, three, and four. Add one band. Remove your stitch marker. You should have nine stitches.
Round three, we're gonna do teal again, and I'm gonna do nine single crochets. So I have nine bands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. You're just adding one band to each chain. Remove your stitch marker. In our next round, I'm going to be using the purple. I thought this would be easier. I'm going to show you rounds four, five, and six. It's the exact same thing nine single crochets, adding one band, one, 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 all the way around. Round four is with purple, round five is with white, and round six, our last round of this leg, is with teal. So your last band, you're going to do a slip knot to tie it closed, and then we're gonna add some more stuffing. So I'm switching color, so I'm gonna go in my first chain, not where it's getting pulled, and I'm gonna bring my band through all of the loops to start off with a slip stitch. Now just add one band to each chain around. You should have nine stitches. You can remove that stitch marker. And I'm gonna do nine single crochets again with white. So I'm changing the color and I'm gonna do it start off with a slip stitch. Don't go in your little slip knot. Go in your chain, bring your band through all of the loops and side. Now just add one band to each chain. Remove your stitch marker and you can add it to this band. I'm not going to add it. So I have my bands counted. So I'm changing to the teal. Again, one band in each chain. Don't start where your little slip knot is. Start in your chain. Changing the color. So I'm going to, again, start off with a slip stitch, bringing it through all of the loops, grab the end and slide. And now just continue around. Don't forget your last band, you're doing a slip knot to tie it closed. Last band. And add a little bit of stuffing to the leg. Try not to overstuff. I'm going to just roll it. And if you do see any little gaps there, like where I ended here, you can just take your little knot with your hook and just give it a little tug and that will loosen the tension. We can put this to the side and we will do her right leg. Now we're going to do the right side, her right side, and I'm 
I'm going to make sure that this is properly on my hook. So if you did take it off, just put your hook through this little knot here and you're just going around. So I'm going to start off with teal color. Before we started off with the white, I'm going to do teal and then the next row is white followed by two rows, rows of teal. Now we're going to do 10 single crochets, so adding one band to each chain. Don't go where it's getting pulled. You want to go in your first chain, changing the color, so start off with a slip stitch, bringing it through all of the bands. Now go around, just adding one band to each chain. At the end of this round, you should still have 10 stitches. And at the end of this round, we're going to add some stuffing. Remove your stitch marker. Bring your band up a little bit on the hook just for the support and grab a little bit of stuffing. For round two of her right leg, we're going to do the same thing as we did on the other leg. We're going to do four single crochets, one band in the first four chains, followed by an invisible decrease. I'm using another band. And then the last four chains, you're adding one band. At the end of round two, you should have nine stitches. Changing color to the white, so I'm going to go in my first chain, bring my band through all of the loops inside. Now adding one band in the next three chains. So I just did four single crochets. Now I'm going to stitch the next two together. So I'm going to go in my first chain, do a slip stitch and leave it on my hook. The next slip stitch, leave it on my hook three loops and slide. Now one band in the last four chains. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band around your hook. For rounds three, four, five, and six, you're just doing nine single crochets. So adding one band to each chain, one, 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 all the way around. For three and four, you're using the teal. Then we're gonna switch to white, starting off with a slip stitch. And round six, you're changing back to teal. So you're starting off with a slip stitch and ending with a slip knot. So I'm gonna do all the rounds. I'm gonna go in my first chain, changing the color. and then just adding one band to each chain. Each row has nine bands, so at the end of each round, you should have nine stitches. You can remove your stitch marker, or if you've counted the bands, you really don't need to use a stitch marker. So make sure you just don't start in your slip knot. You're starting in your first chain, and we're continuing with round four.
remove your stitch marker, add it to the band that's around your hook, and you're going to continue with round five. I'm not going to use the stitch marker, I'm just going to continue. So I'm going to go not where it's getting pulled, in my first chain, changing the color, and now just continue around with nine single crochets. Round six, changing the color, and again, nine single crochets. So going in my first chain, bringing my band through, and continue. Last band, so we're going to do a slip knot to tie it closed, so through all of the loops, and slide. Now, grab some stuffing and fill the legs. Again, if you have some loose stitches, where well I do, because the stitch marker that I choose to use likes to separate my bands. So this is what you should have by now. For round one of the body, we're gonna start now, and I'm gonna start off with the teal color. I'm going to do 18 single crochets in attaching the legs together. You want to make sure that your legs are like this facing you. And you can see on the doll. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch two stitches in the center, doing two single crochets. So find the two stitches that are in the center. So I'm going to be here. Your slip knots might not be in the same spot as mine. But I'm going to use these two stitches on the center, so I'm going to go through my first one in the middle here and right across and grab the other. So just make sure that when you're folding your legs in half, those are your two stitches that are in the center. Bring your first band through. You're going to see that I'm using 18 stitches because we have 9 stitches on one leg and 9 stitches on the other leg. So I'm going to try to do this one slowly. So bring your first band through on your hook and slide. Now I'm going to go on to two stitches on the top, so one on each leg. So right now I have five little loops on my hook. Oh, yeah, five little loops. Bring your band through just the two chains that are on either leg. Grab your end and slide. Now I'm going to go around. So this is my next stitch right above where I just went. So from the inside to the out side and bring your band through your chain on your hook and slide. Going around, I'm at the chain at the top. The next one, bring your band through and slide. Now, if the leg is starting to turn, so I'm going on my next stitch and slide. The next stitch at the side here and slide. Now I'm on the other side of my slip knot. Yours might not be here. But once you do reach your slip knot, you're going to be grabbing that white band because that is one of your chains. Bring your band through. 
Now I'm at the bottom here, so this is the front facing you. And that was my eighth chain. Again at the bottom. This was my ninth. Now I'm just going to turn around and you're going to see your stitch right at the end here. So this stitch was already used. This was used on our first chain here. Let's bring your next band through and slide. So you're going over here to your next chain. This is my 10th. I'm on the other side of my slip knot, so I will be grabbing that white band, that white chain there. The next chain, just going around. last one here, bringing your band through on your hook and slide. So now you should have 18 stitches. Let's count these together. If you open it up, you're going to see a chain being pulled right here. That is going to be your first one, one. Then you're going to bounce over here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 that's on your hook. So attach your stitch marker to the band that's around your hook. And our next chain where we're going to start is right here. For round two of the body, we're going to change to white color. So I'm going to start off with a slip stitch. The pattern goes two single crochets followed by an increase. So one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. You're repeating this six times. And at the end of round two, you're gonna have 24 stitches. So we left off with our hook inside the chain and you're bringing your first band through all of the loops on your hook and slide. If you open it up, you're going to bounce over here, go through with one single crochet. On your third stitch here, you're adding two bands, one at a time. Go back in that same chain for your second. And repeat, one, one, two. in now I'm at the other side and I'm going to continue one one two back in And repeat one, one, two. And again, repeat. And one more time. A 
them at the stitch marker and adding two bands. Back in. So you should have 24 stitches. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band around your hook. For round three, we're changing color and we're doing 24 single crochets. So I have 24 bands here, 24 stitches. You're adding one band to each chain, one, 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 all the way around. We're gonna start off with a slip stitch because we're changing color. Open it up in the center and you're gonna see this white little band here, that's your slip knot, and this is your chain down in here. So if you give it a pull, you're not starting where that white is getting pulled, you're starting in your next one. Bring your band through all of your loops and grab the end and slide. Now continue going around with one band in each chain, one single crochet until you get to your stitch marker. Let the front of her body Should still have 24 stitches, remove your stitch marker and add it to the band around your hook. For round four, we're changing to black and I'm gonna be grabbing the back loop only. So not going through your chain, you're gonna grab just the one on the outside. You're gonna do this all the way around, changing color, starting off with a slip stitch. I have 24 bands here. So at the end of this round, you should still have 24 stitches. So let's start in our first back loop, not your little slip knot here, the back of your chain. Bring your band through all of the loops and then continue going around. So you're going through the center of your chains from the top down and grabbing the back loop. Back loop. Our next round, round five, we're going to be switching again back to teal.
and the last one. Again, you still have 24 stitches. Remove your stitch marker. For round five, we're going to do 24 single crochets, but grabbing the inside loop only of the black. So just the one that's facing inside, not the whole chain. So I'm changing to teal, so I'm gonna start off with a slip stitch, and you should still have 24 single crochets when you're done. So I have 24 bands here. So don't go where your little slip knot is, you're grabbing the inside loop on each chain around, and the first one, you're bringing it through all the loops and slide. Just the inside loop. All the way around. This part is starting her sweater, just so you know. And the last one, this is what it should look like. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band around your hook. Round six, sorry, round six, we're gonna add one band to each chain around. So we're gonna have 24 bands here and you're gonna finish with 24 stitches. I'm going to do two rows with you and then you're going to pause the video and come back to me when you're done. So I'm going to go in the first chain, not where anything's getting pulled, and I'm going to go through the chain. Bring your band through, on your hook and slide. Next chain with one. Just until you get to the stitch marker. Now just continue all the way around until you get to the stitch marker. So you want to pause the video now and come back to me when you're done. For round seven, we're going to start off with an invisible decrease with our first two chains. Then we're going to do 20 single crochets and our last two chains we're going to do an invisible decrease, so just adding an extra band. So let's start, not where it's getting pulled. The first two chains, you're going to do a slip stitch and leave it on your hook. Leave it there, go to your next chain, invisible, or sorry, a stitch, three loops, and slide. Now with 20 bands, just add one in the next 20 chains. 
and then your last two chains you're stitching together. We're going to do 20 single crochets. Now you have your last two chains you want to stitch together. So I'm going to do a slip stitch in both chains. Leave it on my hook. The last one. Slip stitch, leave it on my hook. Three loops and slide. So right now you should have 22 stitches. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round eight with teal, you're gonna do 22 single crochets. So adding one band, one, 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 all the way around. I have 22 bands here, 10, 20, and two. I'm gonna do about 10 stitches with you and then you're gonna pause the video, continue, and then come back to me when you're done. So let's go on our first chain, not where it's getting pulled, and bring your first band through on your hook and side. Moving on to the next chain, same thing. So you just want to continue all the way around until you get to the stitch marker. So pause the video and come back to me when you're done. For round nine, we're going to do 18 single crochets. So I have six, 12, 18, and our last two, our last four chains, we're going to stitch together. So you're going to, sorry, you're going to stitch these two together and your last two together. So I'm going to do an invisible decrease, adding an extra band. So let's do 18 single crochets, one band in the next 18 chains. So I have four chains left. So we're going to take our next two chains, do a slip stitch in each, and leave it on our hook. Now the next chain, the same thing, slip stitch and leave it on your hook, three loops and slide. The next two together, 
and the last slip stitch, three loops and slide. So you should have 20 stitches. Remove your stitch marker, add it to the band around your hook. For rounds 10 and 11, still with the teal color, I'm going to do 20 single crochets. So I'm going to do round 10 with you and then you're going to pause the video and come back to me when you're done round 11. So you're just adding one band in each chain. Each pile I have 20 stitches, uh, sorry, 20 bands. So at the end of round, these rounds, you should have 20 stitches. So going not where it's getting pulled in your first chain and bring your band through. Next chain with one. All the way around until you get to the stitch marker. Oh wow, that garbage truck outside is really loud. I am so sorry. Just continue going around. You're probably gonna hear it. It's garbage day. So again, I have 20 stitches. Remove your stitch marker, add it to the band around your hook, pause the video, and come back to me when you've completed round 11. For round 12, we're going to do two single crochets, one, one, and then followed by an invisible decrease. So this would be stitch three and four together. I'm using an extra band to do my invisible decrease. I do like the finish better. You're gonna repeat this pattern five times. And at the end of round 12, you're gonna have 15 stitches. So let's go on our first two chains with one band. So not where it's getting pulled. One single crochet. The next chain with one. Now we're going to stitch these two together by doing an invisible decrease, bringing a band through, doing a slip stitch, and leave it on your hook. And in the next chain, invisible decrease. Slide. Now two single crochets, one band in the next two chains. followed by an invisible decrease. Leave it on your hook, next stitch, do a slip stitch, three loops, and slide. You're just gonna repeat one, one stitch together. Slip stitch, leave it on your hook, next stitch, slip stitch, three loops and slide. And repeat. Invisible decrease. Three loops and slide. And you're going to repeat this one more time. The last two chains with an invisible decrease. Three loops and slide. Remove your stitch marker, add it to the band that's around your hook, and again, you should have 15 stitches. Round 13, our last round of the body. What we're going to do is 15 single crochets. 
adding one band to each chain, one, 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 all the way around. Your last band, you're gonna do a slip knot to tie it closed. So let's go on our first chain. And then go around. Next chain. And the last slip knot to tie it closed through all the loops, grab the end and tie it off. Remove your stitch marker. And if you have any of these stitches loose, because that's from me taking off my C-clips, I am just going to tighten these up by grabbing the little loop, the little knot here at the end and just loosening it up with my hook. And all of this will get filled out when we add the stuffing.